guys, this is Juan Zuniga and this is Genstech and today we're going to talk about how to carry in a suit. A lot of people have been asking me to do a video on this, so here we go. Alright, a little disclaimer, I have not been sponsored or been paid by any company that I talk about in this video. Alright, so let's get to it. The first thing that you have to do is get a good concealed carry belt. Something that is made for concealed carry. A regular leather belt will work for the first week or so, but then it stretches out. When you use a good concealed carry belt, the core of it is reinforced, so it will not stretch and it will hold your gun in place. It will hold the weight of the gun so your pants are not sagging. So a good belt is a must for any type of concealed carry. The second thing that you have to worry about is your gun. So picking the right gun to be able to carry with the suit is a must. A lot of people say that you have to dress around the gun, but I completely disagree with that. I think there's a lot of capable guns out there that you can use for any type of concealed carry. For example, the Glock 43, the Smith & Wesson Shield, and the Ruger LCP, the second generation. I know there are a lot of other guns out there, but I think these three guns are the best for the value and the quality of the firearm. So these are my favorite guns for concealed carry when it comes to suit. The next thing that you need to figure out is how you want to carry. The ways that I like carrying are either inside the waistband, outside the waistband, or in my pocket. When it comes to the suit, I prefer carrying outside the waistband. However, inside the waistband is not bad. It all depends on how slim or how tailored your waist is. If it's slim and it's a little tight, it can be a little comfortable doing inside the waistband. So look around, see what is best for you. See what makes you feel more comfortable and it's easier for you to be able to draw your gun if the situation calls for it. All right, so now that you figured out the belt, the gun, and how you're going to carry, you need to figure out what type of holster it is you want to use. Having the right holster is a must just like the belt. Having a well-made holster will make the difference when it comes to concealed carry. Now, if you want a pocket carry, just look for a holster that is thin enough to put in your pocket and it's comfortable enough to carry around. For example, I carry the second generation LCP in my pocket. I either carry it in my front pocket or in my back pocket like a wallet. I only use the holster that came with the LCP. I think that one's good enough for me to carry and use it. It's nice and thin and it sticks into in my pocket. So whenever I need to draw my gun, it actually, the holster stays there and only the gun comes out. Now, when it comes to pocket carry, it is not the best way to carry. However, it's better than not carrying at all. The time that I pocket carry is when I anticipate that I'm gonna take off my suit jacket. Carrying my gun on my waistband is my favorite type of carry just because it's ready and it's easier to access. For example, for my waistband carry, I use this holster from Savoie Leather. I like this one because it's a has a dual purpose. I can either do it inside the waistband or outside the waistband. And on top of that is American made and it's of great quality. I don't like using Kydex holsters when it comes to suits just because I feel that it's not very comfortable. Now the downside when it comes to on the waistband carry is that you always have to keep your jacket on. If you remove your jacket then your gun will be exposed. And if you're not in an open carry state you can get in trouble. So it all depends on what you're going to do and what you're going to anticipate that day. All right guys so I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know what is your favorite way of carrying and what is your favorite gun to carry. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.